I know I look so crazy, but now I haven't uploaded in so long. It's just so many things happened within the past month, and I just really didn't want to film. But I'm back. This week, I'm filming a realistic week in the life of a health science major. To be real, I could do all this extra stuff in the video, make it seem like I have this perfect routine every single day, and I don't. I have a very unorganized schedule sometimes. Sometimes my weeks are boring. Sometimes my weeks are very exciting. I don't even know what this week holds. I don't know if this week's going to be exciting or boring, but I'm still going to film. So, I have a class at 12. It's currently like 11.15 maybe class i have this chemistry and then i also have chemistry lab right after so i'm gonna get ready for that make up my bed clean up my room and then head to class <laughs> i'm done getting ready i did not have time to clean my room because i am running late to class that's okay <laughs> Was in the market for a long time probably about three hours just talking eating with friends now i'm just gonna go to the library and study the semester ends in four weeks i haven't done work i'm really behind so i really need to use today to just catch up on everything <laughs> I woke up in my friend's room. I don't even remember going to sleep in her room. I don't know how I woke up there. <laughs> I have class in an hour. My room is absolutely a mess and it's actually overwhelming. So I'm going to clean my room and get ready for class. <laughs> style i went with for today i don't really like it but it's gonna have to do because i have class in about 10 minutes of course i'm running late i really suck with time management i normally put on some a little bit of concealer and do my eyebrows i think all i'm gonna do is fill in my eyebrows a little bit and i see i don't even want to put on no mascara i don't want to do nothing something i really want to invest in is like an eyebrow i don't know what it's called it's like an eyebrow freeze gel or something and it just keeps your eyebrows in place my eyebrows are curly and i don't like that my eyebrows kind of go everywhere you can't really tell on camera but they're very curly and that's why i want to cut them or pluck them but when i cut or pluck them then my eyebrows look really thin so i feel like if i had that gel then I wouldn't have that problem because I could just lay my natural brow down. All right, this is the outfit. After getting ready for class and driving to class, I get to class just to find out that the class is canceled. And I'm, trust me, I'm not complaining about it. I just, I could have slept in. Now I'm just gonna go to the market and get me something to eat because I gotta use up these points. I just got just told me my is the old man. He was like, I like your hair. She would take a picture with that hairstyle, put it on Instagram, and I would like it myself. <laughs> I'm back in my room. It's like a tornado warning or something. It's dark. It, you can't really tell on camera. It's raining, not going out for the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna go to my friend's room, do some homework. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> well, today's my friend's birthday and I just got a last minute text if they wanna, you know, have a little surprise get together for her. It's like 7.50, supposed to be there at eight o'clock. Excuse my mess. My room gets like that every day and I have no idea how. Today I only have one class, but it's my least favorite class. It's chemistry. I hate tough chemistry so much. While I'm getting ready this morning, I wanted to update you guys since I haven't uploaded a whole lot. You guys don't know that I've changed my major three times. I know. So if you guys were watching me when I was a freshman, you know, way back then, <laughs> I was a biology major. So let's just rewind way back to like when I was a sophomore in high school. I shadowed one of my cousin's physical therapy sessions and he was like a baby so i knew i wanted to work in like the pediatrics area i just kind of ran with it i hadn't really looked into other things other than phys physical therapy so i was just like okay i want to be a physical therapist okay and i ran with that but the closer i got to college the more i started questioning if that's really what i wanted to be so i decided to go into biology which is a general field but also a part of that plan was to transfer so i would spend two years here and then two years at a school that has a good physical therapy program sophomore year beginning of sophomore
sophomore year, I decided to go ahead and change to physical therapy. It was allied health with a concentration in pre-physical therapy. But the more, I guess I just started thinking about it, the more I'm just like, would I be happy doing that? And I don't think that I wouldn't be happy doing that. I think I could still be happy doing it. But it's just like, I haven't really explored or discovered anything other than physical therapy because I had that set in my mind for so long. And I guess I kind of low-key became a little bit unsure about if that's really the field that I wanted to go down. So I decided to change my major to something broad, not as broad as biology because biology, I would have had to take like plant biology, microbiology. I'm not interested in all that. I was trying to find something where I didn't have to take all those classes, something that could be broad, but I could still go into physical therapy if I want to. Being a health science major, I could really go into several different things. I could be a nurse if I wanted to, physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech pathologist, respiratory therapist. I could be a lot of things and I do enjoy the sciences. So I do feel like that's where I want to go. And so that is why I changed my major to health science. And I think that I'm doing something right with that. I felt weird being in biology. I felt weird being in physical therapy. Now I feel actually content. I don't know if weird is the right word. I guess unsettled is the right word. And now I actually feel content and I feel like I'm doing something that I'm supposed to be doing, if that makes sense. I feel like this is the right decision for right now. So that's how I've been with my major. But also I just feel like for the first time in my life, I'm not worried about my future. And I say that because my entire life, I feel like I'm pretty much stressed. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna be? Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? And all this kind of stuff. And I feel like for the first time, I'm not that worried about it. like I want to look into shadowing different practices I just want to look into different things and I'm just not worried about the future whatever is meant for me is meant for me I know whatever I'm meant to be I'm gonna thrive in whatever I'm meant to be I will be not to say that it'll be easy not to say that it's gonna come quick I'm ready to go running late for class per usual I don't know why this has become a habit for me but <laughs> I've been back from the cafe for a while, just either go to my room or to the library, but I didn't feel like going to the library today. I just do homework. What I've been doing lately actually is looking into my major and seeing what I can do with it. Cause I feel like all we know is a typical nurse, doctor, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna know what else I can do other than just that. <laughs> kind of learning about the brain i mean it's not that interesting to me i'm not really interested in the brain but at the same time i kind of am i'm learning about like how different parts of the brain can contribute to balance or like eye movement or posture and like smooth like like this like am i making sense maybe i'm not <laughs> woke up in a good mood today i don't know why oh my goodness and yesterday i went to walmart i don't drink actual eggnog because i think there's egg in it and why would i drink raw egg so i drink this a lot of people think it's nasty but i think it's so good today's an exciting day i'm also a part of another surprise birthday celebration so i'm gonna go take a shower real quick then eat my cookies and start getting ready Yesterday, I didn't tell you, I cut my hair a little bit. I don't know if I should wear these glasses. Hmm, I like the glasses. I'm back in my dorm. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's like 12 in the morning. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end the vlog Friday because there's another video that I have to film Saturday. Very emotional video. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. Probably around one in the afternoon. The only thing I plan on doing today is going to the beauty supply store to pick up some hair. I'm getting my hair done Sunday, but it's not what you guys expect. For the rest of the day, I'm just gonna sit inside and edit. Plan out a couple of videos for Christmas time, upcoming videos, you know, you know, you know. That'll be the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.